Hey everyone, CV Tech here, uh, back with another first impressions video on the LG Sunrise. This is on Track Phone Wireless. This was a request video that I am doing, and I picked this phone up at Walmart.com back whenever they were selling it for nine dollars and uh, eighty nine cents, something like that. And this is a very low end phone. We just tried the phone wireless, so I won't give you the specs of the phone, tell you what I think about it a little bit. I've not really used it a whole lot. It's not activated, nothing like that. So uh, let's just go ahead and get in with the specs of the phone. Uh, this phone runs Android 4.4.2 KitKat. It does have a 3.8 inch display at 320 by 480 resolution with 156 pixels per inch. It does run a 1.2 GHz dual core Snapdragon 210 processor with 512 MB of RAM with 4 gigs of built-in storage with around 1.8 gigs available to user. It does have a 3 megapixel camera on the rear. There is no flash and also records in WVGA, um, I think it's 4. 400 by 800, 480 by 800. I'll look here in a minute and see just to be sure. Um, this phone's got a 1540 milliamp hour battery with around 237 hours of standby time and uh, 720 minutes of talk time. So, whatever that equivalent means in days, you know, it's all good. Um, it does support up to a 32 gigabyte micro SD card, and this is only a 3G device. So, yeah, uh, it does have Bluetooth 4.0, and that's just about it. Uh, it weighs 4.2 ounces, and yeah, correction, 151 pixels per inch. Uh, so, you know, pretty low quality. Like I said, I paid less than 10 bucks for this phone at Walmart.com. Uh, this is a phone that you want to buy if you're looking for, uh, a, look for looking for a phone for a child. A secondary phone just to kind of throw around. Let's go ahead and power the phone on here and get it powered up. And you see LG powered by Android. Um, one of the worst things with this phone so far I have seen uh, is the screen quality. It's just pure out, no count. I mean, the screen quality is to be what you expect. From a 320 by you know, 480 uh, resolution screen, it's just pretty poor. Um, some viewing angles don't look too bad, depending on you know how you're holding the phone. Uh, but for the most part, it's kind of washed out, especially if you're on certain apps and certain stuff like that. Um, it does have our, our four gigabytes of internal storage and around 1.8 gigs available to user. Um, and this one does work off of the AT&T towers. Um, you know, with Net, with Net 10, Track Phone, Straight Talk, some of, them, some of them work off of Verizon, T-Mobile, AT&T, stuff like that. However, I did try to put a GoPhone uh, micro SD card in the LG Sunrise, and it did not work because it was a network lot. So, if you have AT&T, and you want to buy this little phone here, like if you worked outside or worked somewhere where you really didn't care if your phone got damaged, you know, if you had a really nice phone that didn't want to get damaged and wanted to buy a cheap $10, $20 phone, to kind of throw around a little bit, you know, and throw your AT&T SIM card in there. Um, it don't work. I just tried it, and it does not work. So um, the phone is pretty speedy, though. Um, I mean, it's not, it's not the fastest phone in the world, but, you know, Scrolling through apps does seem to work pretty good, and if only 512 megabytes of RAM, uh, it does seem to be pretty snappy. And does, I'm not sure about gameplay; I've not really tried it yet. However, that will be in the full review of this phone. Um, down here on the bottom, you do have your. If I can get it to come in good here, is your back, home, and recess button either on the body of the phone but they do not light up, so they're kind of hard sometimes to uh, pinpoint exactly where they're at, if it's dark, something like that, without seeing it. It does not have a front-facing camera. Uh, one thing that did surprise me about this phone was the rear speaker. The rear speaker is pretty loud on this phone. Um, 
it sounds very good to be honest with you uh, a lot of LG's do sound good this one here has a very loud sound which is very satisfying you know of course the keyboard is a little small you know everything on the phone the keyboard dialer is kind of small compared to you know phone that you're more or less used to uh, like I said it is a 3 megapixel camera it does record in 480 or 800 by 480 resolution WVGA. So it is better than 640 by 480. So um, not tested the camera out on bright lights. Inside this room here with normal lighting is very grainy. And you can about, it's just about what you can expect from a phone of this price range of around 10 bucks. It does have the knock on and knock off feature, which is really a surprise to see that on this phone. Uh, so this is a pretty bare bones phone uh, and everything. Uh, it does feel kind of solid though. It does feel good. It's a little thick, thicker than I thought it would be um, and everything. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is just my first thoughts of the phone. It does, the battery life seems to hold its own pretty good, uh, which you, you can expect that even though it's a really small battery with a low processor and the low RAM and uh, and everything, you know, and the low screen quality, it should get pretty good battery life. Uh, can't comment on call quality, none of that stuff yet, or rece reception seems to be pretty good, even though it's not activated, it, it, it does still show the bars of service down here in the middle of nowhere, and it gives between two and three bars of service, so, you know, about what you can expect, so... Just my first thoughts on the LG Sunrise. Stay tuned for the full review coming up here in several days uh, after I do some testing on it and seeing how you know it does actually work and everything. And run some tests, play some games, all that fun stuff. So if you've got any questions or comments about the LG Sunrise on Track Phone Wireless, uh, let me know in the comment section below. If it helped you out a little bit, give me that thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. I sure would appreciate it. Y'all have a good one, and we'll um, and we'll see y'all in the next video.